Hey, David. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, Jay. How you doing? How you doing? Hey. Good. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's going on? Listen, how's NBC treating you? Oh, good. You know, yeah. I mean, I mean, who knows? Okay, I guess. Remember years and years and years ago when they were having meetings about were they going to give the Tonight Show to Jay or are they going to give it to me? I do. And they had a big meeting out there in Burbank and Jay, bless his heart, was hiding in the closet. Do you remember that? Well, I think this should have been settled long before now. Kiss Jay's ass in private, okay? I, I didn't mean to. That's like only you and R. Kelly could get away with an in the clock. That's right, me and R. Kelly. Thank you very much. I was just listening. No, I know. I heard Warren Littlefield say, you know, somehow, I think Leno knows what goes on in this room. I thought it was too bad, you know, to hear that Dick Ebersol was no Jay Leno fan, although it was good to know that uh, Jack Welch was in favor of uh, loyalty. He goes, how'd you, how'd you know that? How'd you know that? <laughs> and he had the room swept. Ever since I was 10, I wanted to be the host of The Tonight Show. That's why, like, Jay Leno hid in the closet when they were discussing, you know, The Tonight Show. I wanted to know what was going on. Everybody wanted to be the, the head of a late-night talk show. That was the holy grail. But in the closet. Here's a funny thing. I did it twice. What a mind fuck. I'm gonna give you count to three to open this closet door. One, I'm gonna shoot you both two. I'm gonna cap some bitch free. Now I'm in the closet.